All right, this phaser, man, I haven't even looked at this thing since I bought it in June, so let's check it out. I don't even really remember what it looked like. I know it was red. Ah, okay. Well, we got another red and white one. Awesome. Ooh, 7,000 on her. Now, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if it's gonna run, run. Maybe it'll be a part sled. Let's find out. This thing is disgusting. So the only reason I bought this is because it was really cheap and the guy threw some pre-mix in it and I heard it pop. So, I mean, what else? How bad can it be, right? Fucking cool. All right, so I had to break this because that's not coming out. And then this side, the wing nut just snapped. So first two fasteners, this, is, this is looking good. One fastener came off without needing to be broken or cut. Awesome. Okay, that one turns too. We're, we're two for two. Two for two of the things I've touched, by the way. Everything Rob touched broke. That's true. I think you should keep working on this, actually. Then nothing will break. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. This is your project. No, this is your sled. No. <laughs> right Only because you want me to have something with electric start so you don't have to start it all the time for me. All right, now we should be able to theoretically drag this thing easier because the track will be allowed to rotate if all the bearings aren't seized. Mm, How many things are seized? That's a big if there. <laughs> Another day, another phaser. <laughs> So this is going to be Sarah's project here. What is this, Sarah? Why don't you tell us about it? Uh, it's a phaser. It's a... Phaser 2? Phaser 2, 19 something or other phaser 2. Um, it's sat for, what, eight years now? Yeah. We know that it runs. Ew. Well, we know that it started. Ew. It popped. Okay. I heard it. I heard it. All right. Double. This was oversold to me. Then. Well, whatever. It's going to run. It's going to start. It's going to do all the things. Um, first, it's going to get a bath because it's pretty disgusting. It's embarrassing. <laughs> She's a beaut, Clark. I think what we want to do before we do anything too far is we want to make sure this thing runs. Now, when I bought it, again, starting fluid, heard it make some slightly alive noises, but I don't know. Um, and so before we long track it, I have a tunnel extension and a 136 over there. Sarah's gonna be doing most of the heavy lifting. Yeah, so I think what we were gonna wanna do first is pull the secondary, and hopefully that isn't fused to the jack shaft, and then try to get the carbs in the airbox out, and the exhaust and intake and stuff. So, you ready? Over or under on how many more mouse nests we find? More mouse nests or more broken fasteners? I don't know what's gonna win right now. I'm gonna go with broken <laughs> fasteners. All right, we're gonna pull the plugs. Uh, it looks like a new plug. A little oily, that's okay. Not as oily. Well, whatever. All right, Sarah, take off this uh, engine cover here. I don't want to. Remember the game? Broken fasteners yeah. versus mouse, mouse nests. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. 
that's gotta be the third mouse nest, and we haven't even gotten to the airbox or the muffler yet, so. This thing spent some time outdoors. This has been a habitat for mouse nanny. Mouse nanny. I don't know. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, that's that's number that's number five. Dude. Well, no, I meant two from like this moment of working on it. Because right we now. blew out the one on the bottom of the engine. I'm counting yeah. that as two. That was, was so definitely blank. two. Yeah. No, there was a pack. This was all packed in one right there. I'm waiting for mice to scurry out. I really, really am. This thing is so gross. <laughs> oh God, do you think it's gonna run? I don't know. If you had to bet a beer on it, what would you just what would you say? No. <laughs> okay, so he was afraid that I would strip the screw, so he took it from me and promptly stripped a screw. I'm yeah. just saying. Well, you're just so good at stripping that hey I figured. <laughs> All right, well, that, that used to be a screw. Where are we at with mouse nests and broken fasteners right now? What's the score? Oh, well now, okay, so I mean, I think mouse nests are still up by like seven. I don't, I don't know. I think it's it's almost gonna be disappointing if there isn't a mouse nest. Yeah, especially with all these broken fasteners, it'll really mess with our game. Oh, that's... Does that count as one? Yes, <laughs> yes it does. So this thing's absolutely disgusting. I really want to pressure wash this thing, but I don't want to put any more time into it until I know that it runs. Otherwise, it might be a part sled. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna not even put the carbs on. I'm just going to drop some pre-mix into the cylinders, put the spark plugs back in and pull it over a few times and see if it makes any noise. I really want to hear it run before I do anything else with this because it is so gross. Ugh. So now that I have it hot wired, I'm just gonna throw some fogging oil in there so the cylinders aren't dry. And then I'm gonna use the starter and see if this thing turns over okay. I'm pretty sure it's free, so let's see what happens. Battery charger. All right, let's see what happens. Hopefully no grindy noise. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Hell yeah. All right, let's throw some premix in it and see if we can make some smoke. Give yourself a drink and then give the sled a little drink. Little nip. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add some premix there. Maybe an old sriracha bottle is not the most efficient tool for this. Perfect, it's extra spicy. Okay. <laughs> I just set the exhaust in there too, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. Yeah, we're, we're, you're being overly optimistic even thinking that it's gonna... Electric start, boys, how luxurious. The whole luxurious. point of the whole thing. Only the nicest things for you, babe. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, this battery's dead. All right, different battery, same girl, same piece of crap sled. Let's see what happens. I put the spark plugs back in myself this time, so maybe that was actually the... Probably, let's see what happens. <laughs> That sounded like that something. That was a engine for sure. I mean, I guess the next step would be, let's test the compression on this thing, make sure that it's got compre good compression, and then we'll put the carbs in, see if it'll run. All right, so that's good news. Uh, really, I don't know if there's a crank seal bad or anything yet, but it sounded like it ran. So what I'm gonna do is just pull the seat and then replace all the fuel lines, install a fuel cutoff valve, install the carbs, install the airbox. Pitter patter. Snap that one too. Oh yeah, awesome. That wood is gone. Great. Oh, sweet. That plywood has uh, seen better days.
All right, boys, there you go. Second set of carbs I've rebuilt. If you wanna go into more detail, you can check out this video right here where I rebuild these things. So this thing is so gross. I really, I really wanna pressure wash it really bad. So make it happen. Yeah, it's pretty cold out, check this out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all crystallized all over the hood already. And then a couple pieces of hardware. Whoa, this is like an ice skating rink. It's already, it's already frozen into the ground. Okay, that one is, there we go. So I guess I maybe shouldn't have pressure washed this because now the starter isn't working. So I'm gonna have to hot wire it and look at the gauge, see what the compression winds up being. Fingers crossed. Almost 130 on that cylinder, so that's actually really good. <laughs> 120 PSI across both cylinders. Just need to do the fuel system, get the spark going when I turn the key, and we're gonna we're gonna build this thing, boys. So let's do it. So when I pulled the gas tank out of the sled, there was another mouse nest right there. Just now I took the flashlight and shined it into the bottom of the gas tank. I've already shaken this out. I was just like, I'm gonna make sure there's no other leaves. And then I was like, oh, there's one more leaf in there. And then I looked at it closer. Yeah, here's a photo. So yeah, I, I don't know what the total is at this point. It's gotta be like six or seven mouse nests and now a preserved mouse that has been sitting in premix for I don't know how many years. It's like one of those bodies they pull out of the peat bogs from like 200 BC or something. It's friggin' nasty. I'm gonna go shake this thing out and yeah. Ugh. Ah! Dirty frickin' dangles, boys. Yuck. Okay, so the carbs are in. I did not mount any of the shrouds or anything or the air box. We just wanna see if this thing fires. Again, it had really good compression. So why don't you turn the key and I'm gonna look for the fuel coming out of this fuel pump. So go for it, why don't you crank it? So now we're gonna do some pre-mix on the cylinders and throw on the plugs and see what happens. Oh boy. It smells like melted electrical wiring. Yep, something, something melted. All right, that sucks. That's about it for this episode. Uh, I guess stay tuned next week and we should see if this thing gets running. Obviously some sort of wire here decided to vaporize, which is a bummer. So I really wanted to get this going, but I want to launch this video tomorrow morning and it's Saturday night. So this is what you get. I have faith in you. All right. 
If you learned anything, you like this, like it. If not, I don't care. I'm gonna do this anyway. We're just building the phasers. So stay tuned. Cheers, boys.